watching Andy and I being the superstars that we are. Uh, we were watching the Grammy Awards. And, um, Michael Jackson, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, Michael Jackson, it was the big thing, you know. He was performing that mm. night. And so we were watching that intently. And then we realised that for about half an hour that he was missing. Anthony was missing. He was four years old. And it was still, you know, sort of daylight saving, so there was still sunlight and everything. And we screamed all over the house, and he used to love hiding in this cupboard. <laughs> so that was the first place, Dad's cupboard. <laughs> so the first place we went was Dad's cupboard. No, he's not in there. And then we had a little panic attack. <laughs> went outside, went inside, went under the beds, everywhere. Couldn't find him anywhere. So then, because we couldn't reach Mum and Dad, no mobile phones back then, right? So we couldn't reach Mum and Dad, and uh, we rang, I actually rang Irene and Bruce. They lived around the corner from us, good friends of ours. And by the time we got them, we searched the whole neighbourhood. <laughs> we went, went down every single street, alley, you name it. Looked over fences, knocked on doors, everything, couldn't find him. In the end, we went back to the house and searched the backyard again, and we see him jumping over the fence. He was a, he was actually in between the two fences, right in the corner. So when we looked over, you couldn't see him because he was so tiny on the floor. <laughs> and then we were right after that, but we screamed at him. <laughs> you heard them calling. Yeah. <laughs> and he never answered. We were all crying, all of us, oh. including Bruce and Irene. I think oh. they were very upset. <laughs> and you laughing. Yeah. yeah, he was right. He was right. He was, he was like, I was just playing hide and seek, you know. Exactly. <laughs> the leaves don't fall far from the tree, my boy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, don't ever double. And Danny, but we can change napkins. <laughs> 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 no, I think you were trying to be a secret agent. <laughs> 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 now he's testing your sisters. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So what's your view of Jackson at the time? Um, the one story I like when we used to uh, travel around Australia, we were driving up the Nullarbor in our camper van, and there was like a little air hole under the front seat next to my dad driving. And near probably the front entrance, and there was a fly swatter, and I used to love sticking out the fly swatter out the, <laughs> the little port hole while while we're driving and feel the resistance. And um, there's one time I did it, and I wasn't really paying attention, and the fly swatter just took off. <laughs> and then I looked at Sean and my dad. My dad didn't stop it. He just kept it <laughs> Fascination with Tina Turner as she was growing up. Tina Turner Live. So we had this uh, video that was video, not even DVD. And uh, every day it was a ritual. He would, you know, get in front of the TV, put it in, and watch Tina Turner. <laughs> Crazy. Loved it. Loved it. What did you like about Tina Turner? I think it was a sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> it was sparkly, yeah.